Life on Mars is a new Metroidvania coming in 2022 on the Sega Genesis by a developer known as Kai Magazine. This is a remake of a game that was originally released on the MSX2. So what is a Metroidvania? Besides being a mix of Metroid and Castlevania, it's a game where you can freely explore the map, you acquire new skills, and that helps you explore even more areas of the map. So you're playing as this guy, who looks like Cobra Commander and Master Chief had a love child, especially on this box cover art. But honestly, he's a fine character. Like many Metroidvanias, your character starts off with a weak gun and no powers. And the idea is to traverse through the areas, battling enemies, while finding the right power-ups to make it to the next area. Now this is a very limited demo that we've got here, but in this demo, I was able to find two power-ups, a flamethrower and a grenade. And compared to the pea shooter, the grenade is wicked powerful. This game also features a system where you're collecting these little canisters, and in turn, after you collect these canisters, you can sell them at these stations, which upgrade your weapons and abilities. 91,665 energy cells for an upgrade? Damn, that's a lot of money. There's also these stations which you can use to save your game. And that's gonna come in really handy for a Metroidvania type game such as this. And if you've never played a Metroidvania before, which I'm pretty sure you probably have, but if you haven't, you know you wanna save often because you never know what's lurking around the next corner and you wouldn't want to go through all of that hard work all over again if something were to stop your gameplay somehow. The level designs here seem very appropriate for the type of game it is. It's pretty much fight these enemies, find this weapon so you can blow up this wall, pass the wall, find the next thing you need to find, which is pretty much half the fun of a Metroidvania. Now the graphics, I wouldn't call them spectacular, but they're very competent. It does look the part. The use of a lot of dark colors helps that feeling of isolation that one is supposed to feel playing a Metroidvania. The music here sounds very much like if Metroid were on Sega Genesis. Now I'm not saying these guys copied the music from Metroid at all, but they were able to get that feeling that Metroid has had it been created for the Sega Genesis originally. But here, listen for yourself and it should make sense. So would I recommend this game? From the limited time I had playing the demo, which I messed with it for about a half an hour, I'm really intrigued to play more. Admittingly, I love both Castlevania Symphony of the Night and almost all the Metroid games. Hell, I even loved Castlevania 2, which to me is the original Metroidvania, besides Metroid. So what I'm saying is, I think I'm gonna love this game too. It's got all the right elements. It doesn't seem overly difficult, but there is a challenge to it, and I had a lot of fun. I wanted to play more once the demo ended. But what do you think? Does this game look good to you? What's your favorite Metroidvania? Let's talk about it. If you like this video, we got a ton more. Feel free to go ahead and watch one of these that appear on your screen now. And until next time, see you soon.